I want to let everybody know that we are going to continue to make this an issue. I will be introducing a, another letter today. This will be the fifth letter that I've introduced, this, that I've sent to the president. This will go directly to President Biden. It will CC every member of his cabinet, and it will insist, it will insist that he come forward and be honest with us about his physical and his mental capabilities and his exams. He's supposed to be getting a, a, a physical exam done here in just a few months, his annual physical. Uh, they've already indicated that there will not be a cognitive test associated with that. I think if there was ever, ever a time that we need a cognitive test for a sitting president of the United States, it's right now. And as you remember, President Trump got one. I think he set the precedent. It was a large part because of the press, uh, his insistence that he have that included as part of his physical exam. I would like to see that same type of enthusiasm and insistence from the press right now that President Biden submit to a cognitive exam as part of his physical exam. And if he thinks he's fit to leave this country, prove it to us with some objective data that says so.